Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Christy and in today's video we're going to be doing a full day of lazy keto. I'm going to be showing you what I eat and what Chris eats. He's not been in a video in a while. I think you guys have missed him. We've been getting tons of emails, comments, and DMs. So Chris will be making an appearance in today's video. If you have not followed me in the past or saw any of my videos, just know we do low carb, dirty keto, and lazy keto in this household. So today we're actually going to be trying some new products and sharing our first impression with you subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell follow me over on instagram my name will be right here i post all my stories daily i've started doing tiktoks i'll have my name in the description box as well as the link to the facebook group all things keto with christy over 26,000 members no keto police but when they do sneak in we give them the boot keeping the intro short let's go ahead and get started with today's video Good morning. Good morning. How you feeling? Okay. Ready to start the day. I'm ready to start the day. <laughs> it's a day of firsts. It is. We're trying some new stuff for you guys today. It's basically going to be a review video. What are you having this morning? I'm having the Key Lime Keto Chow. <laughs> new flavor today. It is. We've not tried this one. I haven't had it either. So you've been trying to do Keto Chow for breakfast for a while now, haven't yeah. you? He's wanting to do <laughs> several days of keto chow. Yeah, I'd like to like do it. Like keto chow, what? Breakfast, lunch, dinner? I want to do it. I'd like to challenge myself to do it for, you know, all meals for a couple of weeks. A couple of weeks? Yeah, just to see what it does. No, oh, okay. In case you guys don't know, we've talked about keto chow before. They are a low protein shake, low carb, basically high fat. You add your own fat. There's several flavors that we like. They did give me a discount code. It's going to be linked below for you guys. Whether you want to use it or not, it's completely up to you. We have been using Keto Chow forever and absolutely adore it. So, go ahead and taste it. Let's see what your thoughts are. Smells. Oh, does it really have a, a strong smell to it? Really? This you mixed with butter. Mm-hmm. Does it taste like key lime? Does it taste like summer? Does it taste like summer in Florida? It doesn't have a strong, a real strong key lime taste like a, like a key lime pie, does it? Really? Yeah. Hmm. It's mixed up good. Mm -hmm. You put water in it and you put melted butter and then you mix it up and... Half a stick of butter, so... Hmm. hmm. Well, this one hasn't been refrigerated overnight. It's only been refrigerated for a few hours, so... True. It's best to make them the night before and let them be refrigerated overnight, so maybe the flavor would come out more. Does it taste good, though? It is good. I, I, I think like it would it. make, like, good fudge or pudding or Ooh, um, key lime cheesecake. They always have tons of recipes over there. I'm actually fasting this morning. We will see you all when we eat. Bye. Lunch today is going to be at Chipotle. We're going to try the new riced cauliflower bowl. We just recently got a Chipotle and a chicken salad chick. We tried chicken salad chick though when we went to Oklahoma recently. I did an entire video on that. Make sure you check. I'll put that up in the cards if you want to see our review on that. But today it's going to be Chipotle. What did you end up getting? I got the cauliflower rice with chicken and carnitas. And here's what it looks like. You also got sour cream, cheese, and what kind of salsa did you end up getting? I got the hot sauce. Anything else or was that it? That's it. Okay, let's look at mine. I pretty much got the same thing. I got the rice to cauliflower. That is gonna be $2 extra. There is what it looks like. Now I had heard reviews that it was watery. Ours is really dry, which I'm happy with. So I got steak and all the same things that Chris did, except I got mild salsa. We're going to get Chris's first impression of the rice to cauliflower. Well, it's not watery, that's for sure. So. No, it's dry, isn't it? It's got a good taste to it. What I'm gonna do is just take a bite of the rice to cauliflower first, because I wanna see what it tastes like. It's very limey and cilantro. <laughs> that's exactly what it tastes like. Mine is actually a little bit waterier than I thought it was gonna be. It's just all settled to the bottom. 
all in all it's good if you can afford the carbs for the day because I'm pretty sure it what, adds like four carbs or something like that. If you are trying to stay away from the carbs though, I just go with a big old lettuce bowl. I'm gonna put tons of lettuce on the bottom and then just fill it up with all the fixings. Okay, you just finished. I did. Final thoughts? Strong lime taste. Mm -hmm. And the chicken was extremely chewy. fatty, chewy. Yeah, he was talking about how the chicken was chewy. I've left a ton. And we just went in, chicken salad chicken, got a cup of water. So that was lunch. Are you going to eat the rest of mine or maybe? Sure. Okay. Hello. Welcome to today's Sip and Chat. It's actually a snack and chat. Ooh, a snack and chat. Mm -hmm. We are going to try something we have not tried. I've been holding back with these. <laughs> Chris has been dying to get into them. Yes. But we wanted to do it on camera and give you guys a first impression. So, for drink, of course, I'm having a Powerade Zero. And you're having? I'm having a tangerine orange. He's having his flavored waters. You know, the little packets that are, not the packets, but squeeze. the little squeeze tubes. Yeah. Is it the Great Value or is this the Food Club brand? This is the Food Club brand. You like it better than the Great Value, don't it you? It has a better taste to it. So before we get into the snack, let's talk about lunch. We've had time to think about it. What What are your thoughts? I was not very impressed with it. I think it was a combination for me of it being extremely expensive and I felt like I didn't get a ton of food. You think anybody's really gonna say that's expensive for $21? It was actually supposed to be more. They forgot to charge you. We True. looked at the receipt and they didn't charge him the extra $2 for his cauliflower rice. So it should have actually been 23, $23 $24 yeah. for us to eat. I just feel like I could have got so much more at the grocery store for $23 or $24. We could have probably got, you Several know. Several bags of uh, cauliflower yes. at the risotto. <laughs> and we could have made it ourselves on the Blackstone. I am cheap. <laughs> <laughs> When it comes to certain things, I don't know. But I, mean, I, I agree with her. It was not worth what $24. Would have been $24. It was not. The, the chicken was just fatty, chewy. I just, I didn't, I hate that texture. I know. And I used to love Chipotle so much. And I'm not sitting here dogging them. I mean, you, this is a new restaurant. It's just opened up. Maybe they've just got to get the kinks out of it or something. I don't know. But. I just wasn't that impressed with it this time. If you've tried the rust cauliflower bowl at Chipotle, let us know your thoughts. But for the price, probably uh, won't do it again. So it's about mm, 82, 83 degrees. Yes, it is. It is a hot day. <clears throat> I'm loving every second of it. I wish you guys could see Quincy. He's just sitting over there on the other chair with his little paws out. He's just loving every second of it. <laughs> Uh, we've not had you on camera in a while. Just a lot's been going on. I've already had some videos planned that I wanted to get out. So you've not done an update video in a while, but full disclosure, because that's what we're all about on this channel. Absolutely. You've been off keto since, uh, Oklahoma. When we went on spring break to Oklahoma, mm -hmm. he <clears throat> fell off plan. We did good on the drive there. We did a whole video of like our snacks and what we ate on the way to Oklahoma and things like that. We did good until we got there. Sorry, Quincy wanted to come over here and sit for a little while. Uh, okay, so we were talking about the fact that you went off plan while we were in Oklahoma. Yes. When we got back, it was Easter weekend. We went full on regular Easter. We didn't even do a keto Easter this time. You can do it guys. This is a lifestyle. You don't want to have to be chained to a diet the rest of your life. So occasionally we do go off plan, but we always get right back on. Mm -hmm. We had a regular Easter and then you've struggled a little bit, haven't you? I have. I'll go on it for a day or two and be a keto and then I'll, I'll eat something and I'll come off of it. Um, the problem is we're keeping some stuff here. Here's what's going on. Riley is my 12 year old. She's getting ready to get braces in about another week. So we're allowing things in the house for her to eat <laughs> that she's probably not going to get to eat until her braces are off. And you know how it is when kids have braces, like no more caramel popcorn and no more this, that, and the other. And so we've actually been keeping junk food in the house and we normally don't. And you, right. when you go like get her ice cream, yeah, we're sort of... <clears throat> rewarding her with food because we know she's getting ready to go through something traumatic. 
I know I'm probably putting more into it than it really is. I never had braces and neither did you, but I hear horror stories. So anyways, we're spoiling her a little bit with food and we probably shouldn't. So you'll fix her a bowl of ice cream and... Well, next thing you know, I've eaten two or three spoonfuls of it. So, yeah. yeah. So it's just things like that. You're having a hard time getting back in ketosis, but... Yeah, I can't get above 0.3. And that's the thing. When you come off of keto or low carb and you stay off for an extended period of time, I've already said a million times, you have a tendency to gain a lot of weight back. It's going to be water weight and retention and inflammation and all that going on. It's just taking you a little bit longer to get back into it. Mm -hmm. That happens. Mm -hmm. So if you do go off keto for a little bit of time, like you did probably a couple of weeks, mm -hmm. not full off the wagon, just a couple of bites of ice cream here or something there. Once you're out of ketosis, it can take just as long to get back into it the next time. I mean. That's what I'm afraid of. Yeah. We're gonna keep testing when you get back into ketosis. He wants to do some blood ketone tests on some products and we're gonna bring those to you. So as soon as that happens, we're gonna bring you some more of those videos. But until then, we're gonna keep oh, chugging right along. <clears throat> full disclosure too, that I've gained five pounds and it keeps, it stays at five pounds no matter what. I, I'm not going above the five, it's five. It goes four point something back to five, so it's, I'm still staying five pounds above what my, what was it, 186 or 187 I was at, something like that. So you're at 190 something now. 190, I'm staying right around 191. You okay, buddy? Hmm. I gotta get back into ketosis, bring it back down. I think you're in ketosis. <laughs> we talk about keto breath all the time. It's a normal process, okay, guys? So I don't have any solutions for keto breath. Brushing your teeth is just not going to help. I swear it's like this fume that your body emits, but it's the smell of success. <laughs> I think you're going to be in ketosis tomorrow. Uh, maybe. I hope so. I laid down last night after after just just freshly brushed my teeth. I know for three or four minutes. I laid down. She goes, I think you're in ketosis. I said, thanks. I just brushed my teeth. She goes, that's not going to help. Mm. You didn't test this morning, though. We didn't have time. Mm. Okay, we're going to have our snack because we do want to review these for you. These are the perfect keto bars that just came out. These are not like the bars they had, the high-fat bars. These are actually the new granola bars, and they're called NOLA bars. They came out with a peanut butter one, and they came out with a coconut chocolate chip. I guess you want to try the coconut, right? Sure. You know he's going to try that one. <laughs> okay, I'm more of a coconut person. He's more of a peanut butter, although I do love my peanut butter. You guys already know that. When checking out your ingredients, you're going to notice there is allulose in this. So when you check out your nutritional information, it may throw you off a little bit. But if you turn the box to the side in tiny small print right here, <laughs> it's going to tell you exactly how it's broke down. It's going to only have two net carbs for this one. And yours, is, the peanut butter, is going to have three net carbs. Haha, uh -huh, I get the less carbs. And it's going to break it completely down, telling you 14 total carbs, six fiber, two erythritol, and four allulose. These are going to be a softer, chewier bar, which I'm actually excited about. We didn't go over the fat count. The protein is going to be three and your total fat is going to be 12 and you're going to have 140 calories in this one and you're going to have 150 in the peanut butter these are still on sale hopefully you all are getting like exclusive access to these for the next few days until they go public and you know as soon as perfect keto goes public with something they sell out a lot of people are like that's so expensive it's not when you you are getting 16 bars so if you order one it's 16 bars. If you order two, it's 32 bars. I mean, you're getting a lot of bars here. I'll have the information and the link and the discount and all that listed below, but it says limited time launch deal. If you buy two 16 packs, you get 20% off. Buy three 16 packs, get 25% off, and buy four 16 packs or more, you're gonna get 30% off. Let's open these up and check them out. I'm really excited about this. I like a granola bar and I really miss granola bars. I'll even try a bite of your coconut. Where it's been sitting out here and it's 87 degrees and my chocolate's melted a little bit. Eh, you guys show it to them. Oh. Yeah. You gotta see this. This thing is, oh, it looks like a payday and it 
<laughs> Smells like a payday. Can you see that? Uh, I think I want to take a bite of this one first. Now this is what, I'm getting chocolate everywhere. It's too hot. Don't you dare eat that yet. <laughs> There's what that one looks like. Okay, we're gonna take a bite now. I'm, this, this video is gonna be all over the place, seriously. I feel like I've not done this in forever. Oh, I already have a feeling that's definitely gonna be worth three carbs. You don't wanna taste it first? No, you can have the mm -hmm. first bite. Don't get them. Those are gonna be dangerous in my house. <laughs> Payday. That's what it reminds me of. Exactly. That is absolutely amazing. I like it. It's pretty good. You like it? Yeah, but I still like the, the bar better. <laughs> he loves the fat bars. Mm -hmm. Not me. I mean, I do like the bars, but this... It is good. This is hands down the most amazing thing. This is right up there with the peanut butter cookies and the strawberry collagen. Mm. Oh my goodness. Definitely the strawberry collagen. I love the strawberry collagen. This is... I'm... Speechless. I'm shocked. I cannot believe that it tastes like a payday. Okay, this one, since I've sat out here and held it, it's melted. I'm gonna let you taste first. And he's not a fan of coconut. Unless it's a toasted coconut. I can eat toasted. Is it a toasted? Can't tell. Okay, what's the bar? It's an almond joy. Yep. That's it. The almond joy. Oh my gosh. For all you coconut lovers, it's all for you. <laughs> this tastes like an almond joy. Does it have almonds in it? It does. This is an almond joy. Hold that, I gotta get a drink. <laughs> I have coconut in my teeth. Um, okay. Scale of one to ten. What do you give the peanut butter bar? Or the uh, peanut is it peanut butter? Yeah, it's peanut butter flavored granola style bar. I can give this a nine easily. I'll give it a 10 because Payday mm -hmm. is one of my favorite candy bars. True, that is. Payday is probably hands down my favorite. And to me, this tastes like a Payday. Now, this one, if I'm rating it up against a Mounds bar or an Almond Joy, Almond Joy being a 10, this is a good eight. What do you think? I'm not rating it. He doesn't like no. coconut. I refuse to rate that one, but for those that would like it, they like coconut. Oh my gosh, that smells heavenly. You can His have breath one. smells wonderful now. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, you can have the last one. Oh, thank you. I know you don't want this. No, I do not. Let me show you the texture, though, so you guys can see. See what I'm saying? It's that gooey texture, like in payday. Like in payday. Like a payday. Ingredients. Peanuts. Soluble tapioca fiber, allulose, MCT oil, sea salt, natural flavors, stevia extract, monk fruit extracts, and something vitamin E to preserve freshness, mixed something. So, to me, doesn't seem bad. Does it say keep refrigerated? So, no, keep out of the sun. I can imagine. So everything that you get of theirs has MCT oil in it, everything. And some of their stuff, like their other bars, has collagen. Hmm. Oh my goodness. If you like paydays, people, <laughs> just order a hundred bars of these while you can get them 30% off. Yeah, those might be in trouble. I want to put those up somewhere. This is all I got. The other ones, you'll be good with those. This is how you can order them too. Let me say this. You can order when it says one, one is 16 bars which means you get two boxes of this. So you can get two boxes like this, <clears throat> two boxes like this, or you can get a mixed, so you can get one of each. I don't know why they just didn't put 16 in a box instead of breaking the boxes up, but maybe it's so that you can mix and match and try them both. Okay, I'm still chewing. Where did Quincy go? I don't know where he went to. <gasps> I hope he didn't escape. <laughs> He's escaped before, hold on. Here he is. Never mind, we found him. <laughs> Are you burning up, buddy? Come here. Tweety, come here. I have no, now listen to me. I have no idea what we're having for dinner. I'm actually stuffed. We did not eat all those bars, but I am actually stuffed. 
We ate all of yours and there's still half of mine left. Those bars are filling, wonder why. I don't know, MCT. Peanuts, I, mm, I love me some peanuts. I know some people, I can hear it now. Peanuts aren't keto, not a clean keto channel, people. <laughs> we like our peanuts. Definitely. Okay, but yeah, I wonder what we're gonna eat for dinner tonight. Mm -hmm. I don't know what else to talk about. Discount codes will be below if you need them. If you have any questions for next video that you want us to answer, put those down there. Um, I guess that's about it. That's about it. I don't have anything to talk about, so. Me either. I mean, we've been gone all day. Unless you want to discuss metal detecting, so. <laughs> You've not really been metal detecting in several days. Mm -mm. You've been working around the house. He's been <laughs> painting the roof. When you, <laughs> Kerrigan said, painting the roof. That sounds like something you've made up. She didn't realize that you meant the metal roof. Uh, our houses, like our carports, workshop, storage buildings and things like that, all have metal roofs. Mm -hmm. So he's been painting those and he's got it all over him. But Anybody who's done enamel paint, oil based, it does not come off easy. And that's been days ago yeah. since you've done it. Thank you guys though for checking out the sip and chat, snack and chat, the chat. We're kind of lost without questions, aren't we? I know. <laughs> I'm not good at just... Freelance. Yeah. <laughs> I, I need you guys to <clears throat> give me some direction. Okay. We'll see you at dinner. So, Chris and I were talking about the whole Chipotle experience today and how I was a little disappointed. I told him, I think I have everything here to go ahead and make our very own rice cauliflower burrito bowls. So that's exactly what we're gonna do tonight. Dinner is on repeat. It's the same thing we had for lunch, except it's gonna be the home style version. We had recently picked up the rice cauliflower at Walmart. I wanted to get a couple of bags of the plain so that I would be able to do things just like this. I picked this up and what I'm gonna do is throw it on the Blackstone with some seasonings and hopefully get a taco taste instead of a cilantro lime. Honestly, I wasn't a huge fan of that. Another item that we're gonna be using is going to be ribeye steak, so we are kicking it up a notch. This is something we got on sale. It was marked down just a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and put this on the Blackstone with some seasoning and then cut it into small strips. I'll be adding some romaine lettuce, some nacho jalapenos, sour cream, the salsa that I normally get at Aldi. This is going to be your queso from Sam's and the holy guacamole in spicy. The entire cup of this is three net carbs, but Chris and I are just gonna split it and then we'll be adding obviously some more shredded cheese. So Chris is heating up the Blackstone. I've told you guys a hundred times that we are obsessed with this thing. We just ordered it off of Amazon because it's what, about 130 pounds, Chris? Yeah, It, it was heavy. So we didn't want to have to figure out how to get it home in the first place. They just brought it right to our door. If they've got any more, I'll link it below. It was on sale when we got it. So all you've done is turned it on, right? And you've got it hot. It is. You added olive oil? Yep. yep. Olive oil. I went ahead and opened the rice cauliflower and I'm just going to pour it on. I added my seasonings and now Chris is just going to mix it up. And then once it's all mixed, we're just going to cover it with one of the domes that we picked up. I think I actually got this one at Walmart, didn't we? We did. Right. And it's just going to steam it and cook it. Where these are the thin cuts, they're going to cook super fast. There's no need to cover them with a dome. Let's just say I got the cauliflower rice a little spicy. Good thing I like spice now that I'm on keto. And then I'm just going to go ahead and cut up strips of steak. I'm going to go ahead and plate everything. I got this nice big bowl. It's not too deep, but it just has enough depth to it that it's not a plate and it's not a massive bowl. Got it at Walmart for just a couple of dollars and I thought I would really enjoy eating like nachos and burrito bowls, taco bowls, salads and things like that out of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it all in here and then show you. So before we get started with the burrito bowl, let me show you this amazing fork that I picked up at Walmart. They have entire silverware like this. 
Uh, yeah, the kids are jealous. Now they want this to be our silverware. They want me to get the knives and the forks and the spoons, get the whole set. Wanted to show you that. So I'm eating with my frou-frou fork. Here's what my burrito bowl looks like. I've got my lettuce, my rice cauliflower, my salsa, I have the guacamole. I have tried this. It's spicy. I'm absolutely loving it. Some cheese, steak, sour cream, jalapenos, and I also cut up a few strips of red bell pepper and I blackened those. All I got to do is drizzle this with a little bit of the queso that we pick up at Sam's and this is what the bowl is going to look like tonight. And in case you're wondering what I'm drinking, yeah, I'm having a Sprite Zero Sugar. Can we video on me? Uh, thoughts on dinner? You're finishing mine off because I couldn't eat the whole thing. Um, better than lunch. Really? Yeah. A lot better. Much better. Less expensive. Got leftovers, tons. Yeah, leftovers and it just tastes better. I thought so too. I think we're just not used to eating out and I agree. we're used to eating home. Thanks 2020. <laughs> Plus, I mean, it was, there was so much more that we made at home than what was in that bowl. Oh, I know. That was a lot of food. Okay. I thought it was better too. I thought it was absolutely delicious. That is all for the night. I think we're going to sign off here. I'm stuffed. What time is it? I can't see. Nine o'clock nine we're gonna go sit down watch some netflix <laughs> and just hang out and decompress thank you all so much for watching before you leave check out some of my other videos i'll see you next time bye